the the button is working we're being able to export the fbx so we're on on the right track now the other elements these other elements are a bit more complex but it's pretty much the same thing it's going to be pretty much the same thing now starting by solving the the reference the paths how do we reference the path for this properly um here okay we're referencing this object and this object and the first part of this needs to be uh, set in a, in a different way let me actually bring this out i'll press ctrl c this time i'm gonna allow editing of contents dive inside and i'll put it here Control v and instead of using this we're going to be using an expression of full path and i think we should get it like this okay so now we have the the same path as we had before okay it's the same path as we had before but now we have a way of referencing uh, the full path of the object wherever he is created. Because this object is always going to have the same name. It's going to be saved inside our HCA. So we're referencing the, the absolute path for that object. And from that point on, and then we add this to reference the object net. The, the low resolution object. I'm going to do the same thing here. Control V. And here we're also going to be using the same things for the output. We're going to be using the same expressions as before, which is what we're going to be adding here. So we're going to copy it from the ROP FBX. You can copy all of this. Control C. Go here. And on the big textures, I'm going to replace all of this with that expression. It's going to give us something like this. Here we need to add an extra level. Okay, and now we're there. We just needed to add an extra level because we're inside yet another node the other thing we're going to be wanting to expose is definitely the resolution so this is something we can take care of right now let's go out type properties i'm going to go to the parameters rock layer geometry asset geo and let's go to game asset textures And let's put the resolution here. So we'll dive inside. Here on our RockNet, we're gonna grab this resolution. This is something that we can just drag and drop. But it would be nice to also include this drop down menu that allows us to quickly select some predefined resolutions. And for that, it's probably easier for us to go actually to. Dive inside our HCA, search for our ROPnet. There it is. Big texture. And we'll look for the resolution. It's here. So, resolution. Now we're just gonna. This is what we already have here. And then we want the menu. So, we'll drop it here as well. Now, the menu will need to have. Uh, callback script for it to actually affect this and we can get that that code directly from this node if we go to type properties search for the resolution here it is the menu and we just copy this callback script i'm going to press ctrl a to select all of this ctrl c and then here we do the same we do ctrl v apply let's disregard that 
warning accept and now if we go here to our asset we should have this the drop down menu is there we'll just fix it in a moment let's try different resolutions and they all work so first to fix the position we will go to type properties and we just need to activate on the previous one horizontally join to next parameter apply and that should fix it and now we have the resolution taken care of as well for us to be able to actually bake the textures the next thing we need to do and for testing i'm going to keep this at low resolution the next thing we need to do is make sure making sure that um when we press the button we also activate that um the render of the the rop this rop net this big texture we also need to activate this render to disk and the way we do that is by going into our digital asset type properties and editing the script so the way we're going to do this is by adding another line pretty similar control c control v and here the difference is going to be that we're going to go inside our ropnet ropnet baking maps slash bake texture one slash render okay ropnet baking maps bake texture one render and this should be working accept okay go out save node type match current definition and let's hit the button see what happens so it's done uh, it's it was pretty fast and you can see here we have our normals and we have our immune occlusion rendered out along with our fbx and all that stuff so everything's working well we'll continue this on the next lesson to finish up with uh, copnet how do we activate the, these two props and we'll have a look at that on the next lesson